Hey guys, it's Manny again. Uh, I wanted to kind of take a brief uh, moment to talk about lighting and uh, kind of some of the techniques that I use whenever I light uh, most of my renders. Um, a good large portion of these that don't use um, that use uh, like light sources like this instead of um, the daylight system in Octane. Uh, I use this. Uh, I use a texture for it, and um, I want to talk about the kind of textures uh, that I use for getting more of a more realistic kind of light. Um, and they're called IES lights. Uh, this right here is the website and the different IES assets that I use. Um, and if you honestly just Google uh, IES free IES lights, there's libraries upon libraries of uh different assets that you can find and integrate into your uh into your renders um so i just wanted to kind of quickly share with you guys um kind of what the effect is so i'm gonna open up the live viewer here i have a pretty simple scene uh actually i'm gonna close that real quick i have a pretty simple scene just a single light a plane and two different types of uh, materials and i can show you exactly which one what does what um so right here, we just have a straight glossy material or yeah, straight glossy material. And then um, right here, we have a little bit of roughness added to it. And uh, this is just a standard light, very simple um, default light that you create in uh, Octane as soon as you hit this little button here. Um, and so there's a couple of things I wanna share with you. And that's uh, first, I wanna show you this little button here. This gives you a IES option. I'm actually gonna undo that. This gives you an IES option uh, to bring in whatever kind of uh, light profile. The thing with lights in real life is that none of them are absolutely perfect. They have fall off, they have different shading. You can see a little bit of scattering happening here. It adds a little bit of texture to the light and uh, going in back to Octane, we can see these default lights have an absolute perfect fall off to it. And uh, while that may be good for certain workflows or whatever kind of render you're trying to do, um, if you're trying to do some sort of realistic lighting, uh, there is nothing perfect about actual lights. And so that's why we create, or that's why I use IS uh, profiles to distribute the lights. So right here, this is the uh, default octane light. I didn't change anything about it except for its position. Um, and I'll show you what happens whenever I add just one of these, uh, one of these um, IS lights or IS profiles to the light. I'm just gonna hide that. Eh. And then boom. So you can see the difference there. And actually let me, Show the render buffer and go back. So you can see the difference between the two. That has a perfect fall off and you can see this already has a little bit of texture to it, has some different shading uh, and it's just, it all around creates an imperfect light which represents real world lights. Um, and so you can easily see the difference there. It adds much more of a dynamic look to the renders. Um, and it overall gives it a little bit more texture to what you're looking at. Uh, and here, I'm just gonna actually compare that one and then go to this one. So here's another IES light. You can see it has a slightly uh, softer of an effect, but you know, I just loaded in the IES profile into the distribution channel and it's perfect. Um, it does exactly what you need. You can even go off, turn off the, Oh, did I, do? I did the wrong one. I can turn off the visibility and it, um, it just adds more texture to it. Adds a little imperfection, which uh, if a lot, you know, whoever does renders like this and try to do photorealistic stuff, you know, imperfections make it perfect. Um, there is no perfect in real world. And so the more you can uh, recreate imperfections, the more realistic your renders are going to be. So I just wanted to quickly share with you uh, what 
lighting techniques I use. So like, you know, the IAS stuff and kind of adding a little more shape and dynamics to the light and how much it can help uh, affect a render. And um, I thank you so much. And uh, here's the website again. Um, if you guys want to see. So it's really simple, actually super easy to integrate into your workflow. To, into your workflow, you just got to add a light um, and hit this IAS thing. Load in your IAS of choice. And then uh, hit render. And you know, you can see adds a beautiful little fall off imperfections in there. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for checking out the video. And uh, hopefully I can share a little more of these small tips and tricks. And uh, have, a, have a wonderful day.